What did you get charged with when you did you get you never got charged on the day the police um, shoot your hand yeah, and then it was, it was weird, mate. Um so I got to the top and I expected to go into the slam for, you know, 24, 48 hours and I got to the top, put my hands out to get nicked, and they put their hands out to shake my hands, so I was showing their hands. Mm-hmm. And then um I was chatting with them for 30 minutes and they just thought, right, there's not much we can do. So we're gonna let you go. And um, I walked into Monday rush hour, no one knew, and there I was topless still looking up the shard and I could fucking climbed it. And um, it was, then I went to a police interview and these were the criminal charges, aggravated trespass, public nuisance, um, trespass on railway, reckless endangerment, got no charges, didn't even have to go to court. So the criminal thing was a tick. However, that was the straw which broke the camel's back because the shard lawyers were now fuck him. Let's let's put him inside. Take an uh, example. One hundred percent. And they that over the three months they spent over two hundred thousand pounds building up this massive case, you know, to to put me inside. And I, at this point, I was like, oh, I'm I'm done. You know, the police haven't said anything. I've got this call. Fuck the court guy. I'm good. I'm good. You know. So I walk into court quite cocky. You know. I'm just yeah. I walk out. You know. We're all good. And then I go into the courtroom. <laughs> I see. You, you, I kind of smelt it before I went in. It was like there was this kind of. I saw the lawyers. I saw the book. I saw. As you know, I'm going down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just, I, I knew it before they said it. I was like, this, yeah, this is something, something going on here. And yeah, I mean, really, I think the string was tied before I even got in. I think they, the judge had made his decision if they speaking to them or I don't know, but yeah. Does that make an example of you? Because even though you know what you're doing is making you feel alive, but you can understand all the charges and the trespassing and the, oh, yeah. all the shit and yeah. that. But six months, man, fuck's sake, there's people out there doing worse than mm. get a slap on the wrist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that make you feel right, like, okay, I'm going to do it again, or does it make you step back? Yeah, no, no. Though this Here's the thing, Put, putting in me inside was probably the opposite to deterring me. It mm-hmm. turned me into a fucking savage. It sort of empowered me. Fueled you? Oh, fucking 100%. I, I was in my prison cell writing down all the climbs I'm going to do, writing plans, every single thing, just obsessed, you know, working out in the cell, doing all these <laughs> things. I was just, I was just fueled, it fueled my madness. How did that then for you being caged up like an animal? Did you ever think, like, not, it's not a fucking as if you've got a life sentence, but yeah. did you ever look at things and say, I could probably escape from here? Oh, well, I did it to keep my mind active. I um, I, I planned an escape uh, just, just because of, there's no fuck all to do. So I was just like, uh, I started writing out escape plans and like, could I go through G wing? Could I go through? Could I? What about exercise yard? Looking around, just just to keep myself busy. <laughs> you think you could have got out if you wanted to? I, I, well, I, people have what, a couple of lads escaped from H and P Patnaville um, three years ago, so it's definitely doable. And the way I saw it was it it was doable. However, if I were to jump from the wall. I would have 100% broken both ankles. So really, I could escape, but I don't think I will get very far. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a photographic mind? So, so, if I, no, 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 no. no. I, 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 um, I'm, I'm an obsessive planner. That's my thing. My whole life is is a plan. I mean, um, you know, everything's a calculation. But um, I don't, I don't have that gift, unfortunately. But what I do do is I write things down constantly. So in my fo- on my phone, I'm constantly making notes. I'll make notes after this. I'll make notes tomorrow. I'll make evaluation notes tonight. In the morning, I'll make every gym notes, notes, notes. I'm always writing things down so that when I have to look back on something, I don't really need a photographic mind. I've got my notes, you know. So yeah. that's that's my thing. How were you accepted in prison? Um, initially it was you know people as as a young offender going into uh, a London prison a lot of um, the young offenders want to know what gang you're from because it's all gang related so I my first second day three people I'm getting my blue bowl get ready to be ready to go and uh, go serve a term around there's three fucking the men in my cell with one holding a prison shank, one wearing one of them a uh, towel around his head and saying, what gang are you repping? I'll just say what I've done. And they say, fuck off. And they're just testing you, just seeing how, testing the walls, seeing mm. if, if, is this guy someone we can- Billy? Vi- yeah, exactly. It's someone we can rob from, someone who we can victimize. Um, so the first week was 
testing the waters. I had people testing me the whole time, the whole time going into the landing, the exercise yard. But after a week, I started building up my connections. I started making my friends and started working out. And it was, it was all good from there.